Science Nerd is back and he's going to today help us demonstrate the effects of balanced and unbalanced forces. So, here we have Science Nerd standing on the ground. Right? Now, the forces acting on him are weight, which is generated by gravitational field of the Earth, acting on him. Okay, this weight equals mass times the gravitational field strength of the Earth. So at GCSC, let's say it weighs 85 kilograms, at GCSC we say gravity, gravitational field strength is worth 10. So his weight is 850 newtons. But if this was the only force acting on him, he'd be plummeting down the weight. So when he pushes down with 850 newtons, there is a reaction force which also equals 850 newtons. So he can stand still without falling through the floor, falling downwards. So the forces acting on him are balanced. That means he's not moving in this case. Now, if there is a force that he is applying, so let's call it the applied force of 200 newtons, he's trying to run away, maybe he's got homework due in. When he starts to run, there is going to be a force of drag created by air resistance worth 20 newtons. Now you can see that there's a much bigger force acting this way than this way. So the forces are unbalanced, which will result in an acceleration. Now, the resultant force here is the sum of these two forces. So because this one's acting in an opposite direction to this one, we take this away. Okay, The minus indicates it's in the opposite direction. And when we put these two forces together, the resultant force, this little funky sign means resultant force, it's called sigma, Resultant force equals 800, uh, well, sorry, 180 newtons. The resultant force equals 180 newtons. Now, we can use Newton's second law, which is this. The acceleration of a fixed mass is proportional to the resultant force applied to it. It basically means the harder you push a mass, the more it will accelerate. So, Science nerd here, we've already established, weighs 85 kilograms. So, to figure out what, speed, what uh, rate of acceleration he's going to have, we know the resultant force is 180 newtons. His mass is 85, and this is going to cause him to accelerate. So, if we rearrange this, let's move down here, we will have an acceleration equals... 180 newtons divided by 85, which equals 2.11 meters per second per second. So Science Nerd is going to start running and is going to initially accelerate at 2.11 meters per second per second.